Hey guys, welcome to the December 2020 Keto Crate. I'm so glad to finally be able to make this video. Clearly my Keto Crate was like lost in the mail for over a week, but it's finally here. That's all that matters. It's the last crate of the year. Can you believe it? I can, let's jump right into it. Once again, Keto Crate with the best literature of them all. Look at the illustration, like Merry Cratemas, like I am obsessed. I absolutely love the Keto Crate literature, but you can't eat it though, so I'm just gonna put it over here to the side. Okay, oh my God, the first item, the cookie department cakewalk. You guys, this is crumbled to pieces, like I can already tell. I have had this before. I remember that I was really unimpressed by the look of it, uh, it just had these blue sprinkles on it. I thought it was going to be like other color sprinkles too, but it was mostly blue. But I mean, I bet this isn't their fault, but this is completely crushed to pieces. One cookie, 230 calories, 19 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, five fiber, nine sugar alcohol. So that's three total carbs for this and six grams of protein. It is crushed and so is my heart. Oh. Oh wow, look, oh my God, is everything in here crushed? I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, but I'm really, really excited about the Better Than Good Foods Keto Chocolate Bar. So this is a Keto Crunch Bar. From the feel of it, it feels just like a Nestle bar, so I am definitely here for that. We actually got a sneak peek of these in uh, Keto Palooza. They sent us like just a little chocolate square, so I'm excited that the full bar is finally here, but I'm, I am excited about this. Serving size, one bar, 18 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, five fiber, nine sugar alcohol. So that leaves us with four net carbs and four grams of protein. I bet this is gonna taste delicious. I am actually really excited about that. Oh my God, something else I'm also really excited about and who would have thought, cause it is a savory item, but the Porking Good Dill Pickle Pork Rinds. Now, honestly, this is maybe like my third or fourth favorite flavor. Like if this was butter, I would be wigging out right now, but I honestly love pork and good pork rinds as a whole. So I'm really excited to get this. I know Richard will be the most excited, but these do taste very strongly. So like you definitely will be getting some dill pickle in your life. So I'm excited about this. There are four servings per container. Yeah, right. I'm eating this bag in one sitting. But per serving, there are 80 calories, five grams of fat, zero carbs all around, and eight grams of protein. One thing I wish they would do is let us know how many carbs are in the whole bag, because yeah, maybe for one serving, there's zero carbs, but if I'm eating four servings, like, is it closer to one carb, one and a half, two carbs? I would like to know, but regardless, I love pork and good pork rinds, and these are gonna be great. Oh my gosh, one thing that I am excited about again is to receive these ice chips. We got these just a few months ago in a keto crate or keto box, I'm not sure, but these things are delicious. They are like little broken shards of mint. So like they're not circular, they're not regularly shaped. Imagine if someone just took like a sheet of translucent, like glazy, it almost looks like stained glass, but it's like clear, hazy stained glass. And then they just like broke it up with a little hammer and then they scooped all the pieces together <laughs> and they put them in this bag. But these things taste so good, just like peppermints. This is the best hard candy experience I have had on keto, absolutely. So the serving size is two pieces, which is a little weird considering like all the pieces are different sizes. Zero fat, zero protein. So two carbs and two sugar alcohol. So essentially zero net carbs. Once again, I kind of like to know the information for the entire uh, bag. So maybe what, it's like 30 total carbs and then 30 sugar alcohols, but I can eat a lot of these. You know, comment down below. Anybody used to be a fan of those icebreakers mints that came in the little circle? And my favorite one was the sours, of course. And there was a side that's like for sharing, not for sharing, where like on one side of it, like a little tab would open, on the other side, like half the thing would open. Those. I would eat those like in one sitting like they were a pack of Skittles or something. So that's pretty much what I do here as well. I don't have a good track record with like peppermints. I'll just consume them all at once. These are strong and pepperminty and delicious, but I'll still eat them all. We have a heck of good bar. Honestly, this is the first heck of good bar I've ever seen that wasn't leaking. So I'm really excited about that. 
This is a chocolate sea salt bar. Uh, not really too sure if I'm gonna like the flavor. Once again, heck of good bars just have a weird texture to me, like more power to them, but they're just not my jam. Okay, for one bar, 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 24 total carbs, geez. Seven grams of fiber, four sugar alcohol, so I'm assuming there's also some allulose in here somewhere, and then 10 grams of protein. How many net carbs do they say? Two grams of net carbs, so yeah, the rest of that is allulose. Yep, that's the second ingredient. First ingredient, almonds. Second ingredient, allulose. So I'll be excited to try it. You know, I'll never turn down anything chocolate, Oh, we have a Nush Cake Raspberry and Cream. Oh, once again, I know Richard's gonna love that. Uh, you know, there are a lot of oldies but goodies in here. Like, pretty much everything in this crate so far I've tried before, Nush Cake included. The good thing is, I know I love this stuff. That's always good. Hopefully there's some new stuff in there I haven't tried yet. But for a Nush Cake, there's 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, four fiber, 10 sugar alcohol, so that's three net carbs and seven grams of protein. Once again, I would much rather have like the banana walnut nush cake, even the blueberry, like raspberry and cream, it's not my jam, but nush cakes are delicious. Okay, what are these? We have rochechocolates.ca, meaning that they are Canadian. Milk chocolate flavored thins. I am excited. Now this is something that I haven't tried, speak of the devil. Uh, I do remember trying some Ross chocolates before and I don't think I particularly liked them, but it wasn't this flavor maybe. So perhaps these will be a winner. It says our story. Born from the frustration of a chocolatier, chocolatier? Mm. Diagnosed with diabetes, Ross chocolates is becoming the gourmet chocolate of choice for those looking for no sugar added treats. Who substantiated that claim? But still, more power to you. Okay, so it says per serving, there's five pieces, and there are three servings per container. I'm just gonna go ahead and read the per container stacks because, hello, that's how I'd eat it. Total fat, 29 grams. Total carbs, ooh, 41 grams of total carbs. 20 fiber, 15 sugar alcohol. So that's only still, what, like six net carbs for this whole bag? That's not bad. And then 12 grams of protein. Mm, looking at the ingredients, there is maltodextrin in here. Me wonders why, but like still, hopefully these taste good. These are milk chocolate flavored thins. Maybe the ones last time were dark chocolate and they were like really bitter. So here's hoping. Okay, something else I've never had before. See, look at me just speaking that into existence, right? A uh, Nutty Gourmet Sea Salt Walnut. You guys, if this is just a bag of walnuts, I'm here for it. Like, absolutely. And I love that they're sea salt. Like, you guys know, I don't like savory nuts. I either like salted nuts or like sweet nuts. Give me like a cinnamon sugar sort of thing. But these are just walnuts. Walnuts, olive oil, sea salt, and rosemary extract. Yes, please. I am here for it. Okay, so there are four servings per container. Per serving, there are 180 calories, 17 grams of fat, four total carbs, two fiber, so that's two net carbs. So even then, this whole thing is only eight net carbs. I would also polish this off in one sitting. I mean, and then four grams of protein. I am very excited about this. Like, honestly, all I need is for this to taste like a walnut, and I'll be okay. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh. Uh, Butter Toffee Peanuts from Keto Farms? Are you kidding me? I've never heard of these before. I love Keto Farms Maple Candy Pecans, so these Butter Toffee Peanuts are just giving me everything. How do they have one gram of net carb per serving though? How many servings are in here? Like, because I thought peanuts were higher in carbs anyway. Okay, serving size, one container, one package is 140 calories, 12 grams of fat, eight total carbs, two fiber, and five erythritol. So are you leading me to believe that the peanuts are only three total carbs? Like, I don't know. Either way, I'm not asking any questions and five grams of protein. So the ingredients are peanuts, natural sweetener made of erythritol and monk fruit, butter, peanut oil, Salt, natural flavors, vanilla extract, and caramel color. Like, 100% I am here for it. Now this is exciting. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm excited. 
Oh my gosh, Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed Bar. This is sea salt, dark chocolate. I absolutely love Monk Pack. I've had these before plenty of times and they are delicious. Like I love the kind bariness of it. Like there's so much texture. You can literally see like pieces of whole almond in here and what are those pumpkin seeds like covered in chocolate. Like I am here for this, absolutely. Serving size is one bar, 150 calories, 12 grams of fat, 14 total carbs, four fiber, zero sugar alcohol. So once again, that means there's some allulose, the second ingredient, yep. And five grams of protein, it says three net carbs. So I am here for this. I love these things. Oh, if, I feel like it's like a Keto Palooza reunion. We have Raw Rev Glow Bars. I've had these plenty of times before and I absolutely love these. They're very creamy and mild flavor and I don't really like mild flavored things, but for some reason I like the Raw Rev Glow. Maybe it's sentimental and like, oh, these make me think of Keto Palooza, but I like these. This is the creamy peanut butter and sea salt flavor for one bar. It is 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 14 of those are fiber, so that's three net carbs, and 15 grams of protein. Absolutely. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of fiber, but like, I like these bars. Oh, we have vacuum sealed Big John's original beef jerky. Wow, that is crazy. I wish you could see the back of this. Like, now this looks tough and chewy, so this actually might have a shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that, oh my gosh, that looks great. Mmm, mmm. Once again, hate meat sticks, love beef jerky. So I'm excited to try this. So serving size, there are two servings per container, 45 calories. One gram of fat, one gram of carbs, eight grams of protein. So two total carbs for this whole thing. I am here for it. Ingredients, beef, water, salt, sugar, spices, lemon pepper, and sodium nitrite. So, I mean, it has sugar like most jerkies, but it's in a, such a small amount. Like, I'm absolutely here for this. This is exciting. Oh, my gosh. And then finally, oh, we have pure sugar-free chocolate fudge brownie mix. I am so happy right now. I'm not sure I've ever tried this. I've had their chocolate chip cookie mix before and it has literally, literally my favorite chocolate chip cookies of all time, like keto. And so I am excited about this chocolate fudge brownie mix. Mm, and this bag is heavy too. I feel like it makes a lot of brownies. Not complaining. So what you need is one egg, three tablespoons of oil. So I'm assuming coconut oil, that's what I would use. And then a third a cup of water, absolutely. There are 11 servings per container. So are you telling me I'm supposed to make 11 brownies out of this? How do you cut a pan into 11 pieces? I'm done, no. But as prepared, each brownie is 130 calories, six grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, 10 fiber, and then four of those are erythritol. So that's five net carbs per piece, but boy, I bet it's delicious. And two grams of protein, like absolutely. So you just mix all this thoroughly, put it into an eight by eight pan baking sheet, and then somehow cut 11 pieces out of that. Uh, and then you bake it at 375 for 24 to 28 minutes. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay guys, that's it. Overall, this was a good keto crate. If I'm being honest, I'm just a smidgen bit disappointed that there weren't more Christmas themed things in here. Like maybe some Chalk Zero peppermint bark or like something. This is all good stuff, but like other than the literature at the front, I wouldn't know this was a Christmas crate. And so that's kind of what I would have preferred. However, that's fine because there is a lot of great stuff in here. And I look forward to trying it all on Smash the Crate. How would you like a chance to win your very own Keto Crate? Comment down below and let me know which item in here you would like to try or which you've already tried and let me know how you like it. And you will be entered into a drawing to win your very own December Keto Crate. For me, it's the peanuts for me, sis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this stuff. I can't wait to hear what you think about the Keto Crate down in the comments below. Also, don't forget you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description or you can try to win one as well. Hmm? Okay, Merry Christmas guys and I will see you on Smash the Crate. Bye!